Today, we are going to see an evaluation metric for information retrieval. It is called mean reciprocal ranking. Retrieval system will return a set of document in response to a query or question. This return document can be unranked. They can be ranked as well. So how do we know how the system is doing in terms of responding to a question or a query? How do we evaluate them or how do we measure their effectiveness? Evaluation of retrieval systems are different for ranked or unranked systems. The matrix frequently used for measuring the performance of systems that generate unranked results include precision, recall, accuracy, F1 measure, etc. For retrieval systems that produce ranked results or create a ranked list of documents or items like web pages in response to a query, the evaluation metrics are slightly different. Those include mean average precision, mean reciprocal ranking, precision at K, and then normalized discounted cumulative gain or or NDCG. In terms of ranked retrieval, there are two approaches for evaluating ranked results, binary relevance and multiple levels of relevance. In binary relevance, we check if the relevant documents are showing up in the ranked list. Each document in the result will have a yes or no answer to indicate if the document is relevant or not. Metrics like precision at K, mean average precision, and mean reciprocal ranking are used to measure binary relevance. Today, we will look at mean reciprocal ranking. The other type of evaluation for ranked result include multiple levels of relevance. In multiple levels of relevance, results are ranked at multiple levels, not just at the relevant or not relevant level. So the result can be ranked as highly relevant, relevant, somewhat relevant, not at all relevant. A common technique for multiple levels of relevance evaluation is NDCG, which stands for Normalized Discounted Cumulative Gain. We are not covering it today, maybe some other day. Going back to mean reciprocal ranking. For mean reciprocal ranking evaluation, we need a few things. It's a binary relevance of ranked results. We need to have a ground truth data set to see if our system is following that ground truth data set. Within that ground truth data set, we will have a bunch of documents or items to look through. We will have a set of queries and against each query, we will have the expected document list. So that's the gold standard that we are trying to achieve through our retrieval system. There are many publicly available data set that can be used to test our system. Uh, for example, the Cranfield collection or some of the NIST track data set. Let's assume that we have developed a retrieval system that returns document 2 as the first relevant document, then it returns document 7, and then it returns document 5. It does this in response to a query called query 7. In our ground truth data set, for the same query, the expected correct answers are document 10 and document 5. So document 5 is one of those correct answers that shows up in the third position in our ranked list of document. So the reciprocal rank for this particular collection or document would be 1 over 3 because one of the correct answer or document was first found in rank 3 of the returned list. So the reciprocal ranking is the reciprocal of the rank of the first relevant document in the returned results from the retrieval system. In this case, it is 1 over 3. Document 5 is one of the correct answers and it shows up in the third position. When we are testing the performance of a retrieval system, we just do not evaluate it with one query. We will be using multiple queries and we will take into consideration how our system is performing for each one of those queries. Mean reciprocal ranking is the average of all the reciprocal ranking over a set of queries. How is it calculated? It is calculated like this. So mean reciprocal ranking is the average of all the reciprocal of rank for each query we have. So Q stand for the total number of queries we have in our ground truth data set that we are testing and then rank i would be the rank of first relevant document for query i so here is an example if we have four queries q1 2 3 and 4 
Here are the four queries in the first column. In the second column, we have the ranked list of documents against each query. So the second column is what our system is producing or generating. And in the third and last column, we have the ground truth of which document should be returned or what is the expected document. As we can see from this query one, the relevant documents are showing up for query one in position one and four. Those documents are documents D1 and D4. For query two, the relevant documents are showing up in position three. That's the only document D2 that is showing up in position three. For query three, we have three relevant documents, D5, D6, and D2. Only two of them, D2 and D5, show up in the result that is produced by our system. Query four does not return any relevant document. So let's see how we can compute the reciprocal rank for each query and find out what the mean reciprocal rank is. So the first query, Q1, the reciprocal rank is 1 over 1 because the first position has one relevant document, D1. So this is 1 over 1. For query 2, the reciprocal rank is 1 over 3 because one of the two relevant documents, D2, show up first in position 3. So 1 over 3. For query 3, the reciprocal rank could be 1 over 2 because one of the three relevant documents only D2 shows up first in position 2. Notice that out of the ground truth relevant documents we are figuring out which one appears first in the returned list and the position of the documents in the returned list is used as the denominator of the formula. Now query 4. What if the query does not return any relevant document? which is what we have for query four. We can use a zero or you can use one over the number of documents in the collection. It really depends on how you want to record it in your relevance score. Ideally, you want the reciprocal rank to be as small or as low as possible. In our example, let's assume it's a zero if the retrieval system does not return any relevant document. So the reciprocal rank for four of these queries are going to look like this. And if we take the average of all four of these query, we will find the mean reciprocal rank, which would be one plus one over three plus half plus zero, the reciprocal rank of all four queries divided by the number of queries we have in the system which is 4 so the result is 0 0.4583 so what does it mean how to interpret this number a higher mean reciprocal rank indicates that relevant documents are on average found earlier in the returned list or ranked list a good retrieval system will have higher mean reciprocal ranking a mean reciprocal rank of 1 means the first return document is always a relevant document against each query. Any reciprocal rank of 0.5 would mean that a relevant document is first found on average at position 2 of the ranked returned list. Now with any system, there would be some limitations and this uh, evaluation matrix is no different than that. Mean reciprocal ranking does not consider the position of the relevant document beyond the first one it finds which may be important for some system or some application. So in this case, with query 3, we saw that we had two relevant documents. Document 5 was at the back of this list and document 2 showed up in second position. We ignored document 5 and stayed with document 2. In any case, it's a good uh, evaluation matrix to evaluate any system you develop to see how the system is doing in returning the right answer. So that's all for today. Thank you for your time.